Welcome back to Papi Word People version 1.0. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to work with a recommended five word table and how to use a recommended charts here and what is a report filter is all about and how to use a report filter a reporting separately in a sheet, how to use the slices that we have already learned in our interactive dashboard, how to use timeline and how to use the filter and slicer together to extract the data. So without further ado, let's see how to do that. So I'm going to place the cursor in here. If you are looking for a standardized report in a data structure, then recommended fiber table or recommended chart is a way to go to do this. If the data are standardized, then it's make my life a little more easier. Let me place the cursor in one of my sales representative here and then hit a recommended chart first. When I do that, you can see automatically it gives you a line chart based on a date and you can move the cursor around and you can see some of the units by product, some of the sales by product, some of the cost of goods by product and you can see a lot more interesting report here from a histogram to <clears throat> a bubble chart and a scatter plot chart and you can see a lot more recommendation given by the if you feel that this is a relevant report for you, then you can just add them here. And then now you've got the five word chart with a table in it. This is how I build the recommended five word chart. And I can also create a five word table by using this. So I'm going to place the cursor here and go back to the insert tab. I'm not using a five word table, Alt NVT or Alt VP to achieve it. I'm going to just go back to the insert tab and click the respective list. Here we go, we get whatever data that we want to see here, we can see all of them. So let me take a data which is a little different here. So now you can see that I have a this data when I give an okay. Now it creates a five volt table for me automatically. And you can just bring in a report layout here and then add a number formatting to the list here. So building Again, in real world scenario, there is a little chance that we use a recommended chart. But again, if this is standardized reporting, a recommended chart will be the most used diamond chart, most used logic series, or so recommended fiber chart or a fiber table that I can use here. So now I want to show how to add the other logics called a report filter. So let me add a new fiber table for us. In a brand new sheet, this time I'm going to add the region on the filter and then sales step on the row and the sales on the column. So now we can see that we've got all the region coming up here. If you want to get the report here, I can click this point, then I can select a particular list and you'll get all the east data. And again, if I want to make them look even more better, so let me just reiterate our by what they do by uh, tabular forms and then the number formatting. I can add a pivot slices here. So now I'm going to go back here. Incoming voice call. And then I'm going to just check the region here and give an OK. So now I can just choose the dimension better. So I'm going to just click the north. I can see the north is coming up here. Click the south and the west. You can see my filters and my Slices are playing a wonderful role. But what I want right now is my manager or person who handle my data wants a report for all the regions separately in a different sheet. This is where my five word table will become a very, very powerful tool here when I started using the filter option here. So I'll go to the five word table analysis list here and then in the option button you can create a separate report for the filter page. So when I say show reports filter pages, now I have the region is coming into play. So when I click this, it will ask you a question. So would you like to break the report on four different sheets with all the region that I have here? So now I give it okay. Now I have a sheet five where I have laid my region wise sales. Sales is given here. When I give an okay here, then that gives you four more sheets before that called East, North, 
it's south and so on. So now I have only three of them coming up here. I need to have the rest also should come here. So as I saw the rest here. I got the best here, so automatically the other, other fields are coming up here automatically. So you can see the, this is the best region that I'm seeing here, and then I can see all the other lists. If I want to get the data properly, let me just reiterate this again. So let me delete the fields that I built earlier. And then I'm going to make this as all the region. And then go back to my fiber table and fiber table analysis and in the reports I'm going to break that with multiple regions. I'm going to give an OK. Now it breaks into four different regions because earlier it was a filtered in West so it gave the other regions for us. But if I keep the sheet in all the region list then when I extract it that's going to extract me the region which is not selected here and it shows you each and every region is separately West, north separately, south and west separately in this way. When I did it in the previous list, it only showed me east, north and south because I already have a report on west which I filtered earlier like this. So based on that, the report didn't show me the west, it showed me the other three regions that I have here. When I put them all in all region, then that makes my life a little more easy. So this is how we create a filtering of the report and for filter. I also showed you how to work with a slicer here and we can see the difference between a slicers in this list effectively. So now I'm going to show you how to use the slicer and the filter in that. So now previous data when I built this list, so when I click this point, so now I have a slicer comes in place and I have a filter also. Now if I extract this data, so when I give a double click here, it's going to extract only east for me. Because I kept the report filter on top and then I gave the slicer as my fancy filter option which allows me to filter out the data easily. Wherein if I wanted to do that in a different way, so if I don't have the filter here and when I double click this, it's going to give you, even if I filter this to east, when I double click it, it's going to show you all the data on the same logic here. So now you can see that I can use that as a filter based slicer or I can use that in two different dimensions here. But again, it gives you all my list on one particular person here. When I do deal with the reporting as a filter here, and I can see that now when I extract this, so it's going to extract the report for the respective person. So this is how we can use a filter and a slicer in tandem here. And the most important part that I'm going to teach you next is called a timeline filter. So let me create one more report right now on this part. Let me put it all 10 VT and then I'm going to add a new fiber table here. Again, I'm going to keep the region of the report, the sales list, and the sales coming here. And instead of using a sales list here, if I use a date, that's where I can use the timeline filter. So let me just Give this, group them, and when I try to group them, I think that it is giving you an error here because now I have some data issue in this list. Let me just remove the filter out of the equation. Let me regroup it. Okay, right. I think that I have an issue with my date field. The dates are not proper in this list, I believe. Let me just convert this into a date. getting the right data here so let me just take data which allows us to do this better so let me go back to one of our data which we have earlier so let me take this as a list and then put on a brand new sheet add a date now the dates are coming properly for me now i can add the line item here so i'm going to say line item revenue now i would like to Put the data in a particular order so i don't want a year and quarter i want to see year and date function here and when i expand them 
all of them in one part you can see each and every one comes in place now i will insert a timeline here. when i click the timeline here it inserts the list and i'm going to just say i want to insert based on the dates and give an okay that's going to give you a list here now you can see that i can either go by year or i can go by quarter or i can go by a month and i can even go by day so you can do multiple list of the timeline again timeline works only on dates here so don't try to do that in the other version or other dimension it won't allow you to get it done so if i want to extend this i can extend it to multiple years or i can reduce it to a lesser year this way i can go back and forth through this year and i can choose one by one here. so i can say i cannot pick up a particular quarter here i want to pick all the quarters in a continuous manner that's a disadvantage that I have when I do deal with a timeline again timeline allows you to handle the data better I can just swap this now I say quarter 2 to quarter 2 on the list here so when I make this into a year quarter and you can see that the timeline selects beautifully that leaves the first quarter year and the last quarter the last two quarters in 2012 and then when I convert that into months I can see that months are coming up again according to the election of so this is how we can play around with the timelines here. So with this, I'll end this video. In this video, we learn how to use a recommended five-word table, a chart, a report filter, and then the report filter is separately built. When a filter is added, when filter is not added, how to use a slicer, how to use a timeline, and how we can make use of the slicer and filter in hand. So I'll see, catch you up in the next video. In the next video is going to be even more interesting for us because we're going to create a new dimension in Python. Thank you so much. Stay updated. Happy learning.